and welcome back to the Mirage Sportsbook here on the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. I'm Patrick Everson for Covers.com, and I'm again joined by Jay Rude, the Vice President of Race and Sports for MGM Resorts. And Jay, we're just through the first full week in a college football. Now we're looking ahead to week two. Saw some very interesting things in week one that are surely going to affect week two. Let's start first with one game that, that could be interesting. Central Florida at Michigan. Michigan coming off just an absolute wipe out of Hawaii in their home opener. Yeah, you know, I mean, Michigan is definitely being a, the, the public favorite this year. They're getting a lot of action in in the uh, future book. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they shellacked Hawaii, who was in a really bad spot going from Sydney, Australia, up to Ann Arbor to play a team that was just absolutely jacked to get a big win under their belt. Mm -hmm. um, and now they're gonna face a Central Florida team. The number's already moving. Uh, I think the public's gonna be all over this. Uh, moving early in the week, it's, uh, wise guys are laying the 34. We're up to 35 and a half. This is gonna be a game where, uh, you know, the, it's going to set the tone for us on Saturday morning because uh, it looks like the public and the uh, wise guys are going to be on the same side. So we're going to be big, big Central Florida fans. All righty, all righty. Another game that you indicated was on the move, uh, Texas Tech going to Arizona State this weekend. Yeah, no, that's another big game early. Uh, two high-scoring teams that are going to be uh, uh, you know, going up and down the field. And right now all indications are that uh, you know, Texas Tech seems to be uh, the side that the majority of the, the wagers is coming in right now. It's moving from four to three. Um, you know, that might even drop below, uh, you know, three, depending on how hard, heavy the action comes in uh, from the public as we get close to game time. All righty, and then one really interesting game this week, could be a very good game, and it's going to be at an interesting venue. You've got Tennessee, which really struggled in week one and got out, escaped with a win, yep. uh, facing Virginia Tech, quasi-neutral site game. It's going to be played in the infield at Bristol Motor Speedway. Talk a little about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, talk about... Uh, you know, not uh, having enough fans in, in the stadium at Volunteer Stadium, much less now you got to get 150,000 fans in here. I don't think it's going to be quite a neutral field for Virginia Tech, but uh, yeah, it could be a great game. Obviously, uh, the Volunteers looked a little weak uh, in their opening game, but you know, it's opening game jitters. I think uh, when we get down to the, to the end of the season, no one's going to remember that game. They're going to remember they got a W. Uh, but I think uh, this is a game where I think the Volunteers could bounce back and look really good. Um, you know, Virginia Tech is adjusting to life without Beamer, so uh, it's going to be an interesting interesting game because, uh, you know, first game on the road under a new regime is never an easy thing. No, no doubt, and like I said, a very, very unique venue for this game. We'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe Tennessee can find its form this week, but it uh, should be a good one. So there's a look at uh, just a couple of games in week two where there's already some line movement and some anticipated further line movement. Thanks again to Jay Rude, Vice President of Race and Sports for MGM Resorts. For Covers.com, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Covers. Mm -hmm.